Welcome back to Trans West Buick GMC. My name is Kyle. Today I want to go over the new infotainment system and gauge cluster on the new refresh on the 2022 GMC Sierra 1500s. Today we're sitting in an Elevation Premium Plus package. Um, so it might look a little familiar from the previous video that I went over with you guys, but uh, today I really want to focus on this new infotainment system. We already have the truck on and ready to go. Um, system starts up pretty quickly, pretty efficiently, but uh, when you first fire up the vehicle, this is kind of the screen that's going to pop up. Now, you can customize this a little bit. You can move your apps around. You can change what pops up over here on the left, and I'll kind of show you that here in a second. But this is going to kind of be your base screen for it. Two buttons that I like hitting off at the very first with my customers who purchased one of these new vehicles is just like your phone, there's a home button on this uh, infotainment system. Now there's two ways to hit this home button. There's one right here next to the power button and the volume button. And then there's also a touch one up here on the touch screen. So if you're ever in an app or anything like that, all you have to do is hit either one of these two buttons and it will take you back to this main screen just like on your phone when you wanna get back to see all of your apps. But to start off, um, once you purchase the vehicle, it will ask you to sign in. Um, if you have a Gmail account, which pretty much everybody nowadays has one, you're gonna sign in. Um, at that point, it's gonna sync all of your Google stuff with the infotainment system. It's gonna set up your maps, your email, all that good stuff. So that way it's gonna be a little bit more personalized to your system. As you can see, it's the nice 13.4 big touch screen. GM finally you know, caught up with the times and, and put in a big screen that's aesthetically pleasing to the eye, but also has good functionality. You know, the first app that we got right here is the audio. Nice, super simple, easy to get to. When you click on that, it pulls it up. You know, you can click up here and it will tell you all of your sources. So you have your AM, your FM, your Sirius XM, your Bluetooth, Google News, podcasts, and USB. So you can select whatever you want. You know, if your phone's plugged in, you can do hard, hard um, wired music. You can also Bluetooth your music so it doesn't have to be plugged in. Sirius XM, which is really nice with the purchase of a new vehicle, you do get a, three, a free three month trial with that as well. Your local AM, FM stations. Once you sign in to your Google account, if you're associated with any of the Google News or podcasts, you can also pull those up too. Now you do have to have Wi-Fi on the vehicle or be sharing your Wi-Fi signal from your cell phone for those to work. Once you wanna to get to that um, selection, all you do is press on whichever one you want and it takes you right to it. Super simple and easy to use. you know. And then once you get to it, setting a favorite, so let's just get to a station that actually has some music playing on it. You just go to the station that you want, you press and hold, and it sets your favorite right there. Now, the cool thing about this is you can have up to 65 favorites. It's just like your phone. Um, all you have to do is slide across and it will take you to your next set of favorites. Now this truck's set on automatic, so the nice thing is, is as soon as you set a favorite right here, it adds another five. And if you set a uh, favorite right here, it will add another five for you up until you're completed to what you want. The new infotainment systems, now they offer this on the last um, model as well, but it's cool. You can have FM, AM, XM, whatever you want. That way you don't have to keep switching back and forth from sources. You can go directly from FM to Sirius XM radio. We're under a nodding, so we're not getting any signal right now for the XM. Now, if you want to switch back to something, all you got to do is click up there and you can you know, select whatever source you want. Like I said earlier, press the home button, takes us back to our home screen with all of our apps. Next feature on this is the maps. What I love about this is how big it is. It goes all the way across the screen. Now, when you sign in with your Google account, you're actually using Google Maps. So it's up to date to the minute. You don't have a um, SD card. You don't have any updates that you have to do on this. Just syncs with your Google account and it updates with Google Maps. Super simple and easy to enter in a destination. All you have to do is click right there. You can search all destinations, categories, saved, or you can type in an address to get wherever you want. Once you do that, you just hit the search button. It will pull up the address and give you turn-by-turn -turn directions to that. You can also zoom in or zoom out, is you know, kind of just like you're using Google Maps on your phone. Once again, hit the home button. Takes us back to our next uh, to our all of our apps. Next one we have is the phone. Um, this is how you pair your phone with Bluetooth. To make a call, pair phone. Super simple and easy. You just hit manage phone, 
It's going to pull it up. You can add whatever phone you want to add to the vehicle. Obviously, somebody was in here earlier, so they connected their phone. And you can add as many phones as you want, but you can only have one phone connected at a time. Even if, say, you and your wife are in the car, both your phones are added, it will only take a primary phone. Now, it's super simple and easy to switch to whichever one you want. All you have to do is go into phones and select the one that you want. Deleting a phone is super simple and easy. You just click on the phone that you want, hit forget phone, hit forget phone again, and it's gone away. Now you can add phones, take away phones. Now the cool thing with this is if you have Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, it will also connect that too. Now that's gonna ask you on your phone if you wanna allow access to it. You do have to allow access on Apple CarPlay. Android Auto, you do have to download the Android Auto app from the Google Play Store. But once you do that, and you select right here, it will pull up right here. So when it's actually connected, you'll have either Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. These will be brighter, kind of like the Maps or the Play Store or something like that. So that way you know it's actually connected for you. Next app we have is the cameras. This is a really cool feature. On the Elevation Premium Plus package, it comes with the surround vision. So you have the 360 view of the cameras. They're still 4K cameras, so super clear come in. Now, you also have different camera views that you can select from. As you're um, looking around, you can select all these to see if you're parallel parking, you wanna see how close you are to a curb, you can see the back wheels, you can see the front wheels. You can also see a direct bird's eye view of the hitch too. So if you're trying to load a trailer or something like that and you're by yourself, um, you know, gone are the days of, you know, sitting there for 20 minutes trying to line up your trailer. And once you do connect a trailer to it, you'll have different camera views and you can also connect the auxiliary camera trailers. Once those are activated, these little buttons down here will light up as well. I know they're kind of hard to see right now. But going back, we can just go back to our normal uh, view and get the bird's eye view of the truck. Also too on the GMC, you have the um, guidance lines. Right now it's set to the entire truck. So if I turn the wheel to the left, it moves that. If I turn the wheel to the right, it moves it back to the right. Now this is telling you exactly where the truck's going to end up when you're parking. Now this is a cool feature. You can actually select this if you want to give you the full lines or to give you no lines at all. So those are your camera views. Down here you have your Google Assistant and your Play Store. Once you have connected with your Gmail account, you can actually download more apps onto this vehicle if they're available through the Play Store. Just like your phone, when you slide over, you have more apps over here as well. Now this one has the trailer, this truck has the trailering package on it. So when you select the trailering, it's gonna pull up everything um, for the trailering app on the infotainment system. When doing this, you can add a trailer, you can name it. So that way your truck will remember the trailer when you go to hook it up. Now the cool thing about this GM does offer, um, they offer, uh, tire pressure monitors for the vehicle or for the trailer so if you do decide to purchase those that will actually sync up to this as well so when you're driving down the road you're going to be able to tell if your tire pressure is low what tire it is all that good stuff and you know you can also set your uh, gain your positive or your minus on your gain as well using the integrated trailer brake that's included on the truck down here as well but this will all remember in this trailer app on the infotainment system you can also go to your climate control on this as well. Now, obviously you have the nice uh, climate control down here, but if you want to actually use it on the infotainment system, you can. So it kind of gives you what's going on right now. We have the temperature set to 70, we're using the auto feature, so it's work working like the HVAC system in our house. You know, if I turn it to 72 degrees and it's really cold out, it's gonna turn on the heat to get it up to 72 degrees, or say it's 85, 90 degrees out, and it needs to turn on the air conditioner, it's gonna turn on the air conditioner to get the temperature in the cab to 72 degrees. You can also switch, you know, where you want the air to come out, if you want it to come out at your face, your feet, on defrost, anything like that. You can all access that through the screen right here. Next one is the settings. This is kind of the settings for the vehicle, for the infotainment system. This is a fun one to play play with once you actually purchase a truck because you can actually set it up the way that you want it. You know, you can set the time, you can set the display, you can give apps permission, stuff like that. So if there's certain apps you don't want, you know, your kids getting into or anything like that, you can lock permissions. Also, this has the vehicle settings on it as well as far as like the remote start, the unlock, the lock, all the feedback and everything like that. 
super simple and easy to get to you know just click into this and it pulls up everything that you need for the vehicle that you can set to your personalized settings Next one is the Wi-Fi hotspot. If you do decide to purchase the Wi-Fi through OnStar, which is, uses AT&T cell towers, you can click onto that. You can change the name of the Wi-Fi, you can change the password, you can grant access, deny access, all that good stuff when you're in it. Next one is the MyGMC app. So with the purchase of the vehicle, you do get OnStar free for a month, which gives you the remote access app. That allows you to start, stop, unlock, lock your vehicle from anywhere in the country as long as you have a Wi-Fi signal. But the cool thing about that is it also has information about your truck as well in that app. So when you do set up that account, you can click on the MyGMC app here in the infotainment system and it will pull up everything you need to know about your truck. The next is the Google News and the podcast as well. Once again, that goes back to setting up your Google account on the infotainment system. Once you set that up, if you subscribe to any of those features, you can have access to that as long as you keep the Wi-Fi on the truck cool feature over here what I like with this big screen is there's a couple different things that you can put on this side of the screen you have your clock you have your trailer view you have what's playing on the radio and you also have your maps as well so if you want to be you know have your what's playing on the radio and have your maps over here you can have everything kind of set up or if you want to go back now once you pair a phone too you'll have access to have your phone information pulled up on the side over here as well Another feature that I want to talk about on this truck is the tailgate feature. I know we've been getting some feedback on that. People saying, you know, is this a safety issue? You know, am I going to accidentally hit this as I'm driving down the road and it's going to pop open the tailgate? The cool thing about this vehicle is when it's in drive, this button disengages. So you will not be able to open the tailgate when the vehicle is either in drive or reverse. It has to be in park. Now, once you're in park, you do need to hold it for two seconds for it to release the tailgate. But once it does release the tailgate, a simple push of the button to do it one more time will open the tailgate for you as well. It's pretty much everything on the infotainment system over here. There's a lot more that we can get into, but you know, just wanted to kind of give you a basic rundown on that. Now the next cool feature is the all digital display on the gauge over here. This is all digital. Now you can change what's shown on on the screen over here but first I'm going to kind of go over on the info pages for you so uh, when you go to your info page options you can select what's shown so you know you have your trip one your trip two your timer tire pressure fuel economy driver assistance oil life brake pad life air filter life you can even do your trailer brake gain your off-road your engine hours transmission fluid and a blank page as well once you have that set to show what you want, all you have to do is go back over here to your info pages and it shows you everything that you just selected. So you have your digital speedometer, your drive summary, how long you've driven, what your average uh, fuel economy was, how long the vehicle's been running. Now when you go down here, you got your trip A or trip one, your trip two, your timer, if you're trying to figure out how long it takes you to get somewhere so you know when to leave the house for your commute, anything like that has your, uh, your tire pressure. Now this reads all the vehicle, all the tires. And when you do go in for an oil change and get them rotated, they will relearn this, but they should all sync back up. Your fuel economy, your driver assistance, your oil life, your brake pad life, your air filter life. This is the trailer brake gain that I was talking about over on the other side, but this is nice that it's right here so you can see exactly on your infotainment system as you're driving down the road. This is also your off-road as well. So if you do take the truck off-roading, like this truck has the X31 package, so it will do great off-road. You can tell your angles. As you see, as I turn the wheel, you can see the angle of, of the actual steering. If we were on a slope, it would tell you exactly how much of a slope we are on, you know, forward, back, left to right as well. Have your engine hours, your transmission fluid temperature. Um, this is a nice one to have, especially if you're towing. You can see, you know, if your tranny is getting a little too hot, a little overworked, or anything like that. And then we get back to the info page options. Next one over on this screen is what's playing on the radio. Uh, you know, when you select this, it's going to tell you. So if you were on FM, it tells us what station we're listening to. If you're on XM, it will tell you what station you're on, the artist that's playing the song that's playing as well. Next one is the navigation. If you actually put a destination into the um, navigation on the main infotainment system, it will give you turn-by-turn -turn directions up here on the screen so you don't have to take your eyes off the road. You can just look down and see it and then look right, look back up at the road. 
Next one is the phone. Once your phone is connected to Bluetooth, it will tell you that your phone's connected. It will tell you how much battery you have and your signal strength. Also, the cool thing is, is when you are on a phone call on this screen, it will tell you who you're talking to and how long you've been talking to them. And a simple, you know, you can answer the phone by pressing this button right here, or you can hang up the phone by pressing this button right here. Next one over is the settings for this screen. Now you can do the display layout. So if you want to change it, the, you have four different layouts on this vehicle. Right now we're on the classic. If you wanted to take it down to the progressive, see how the whole screen changes right there. Take it down to digital. See how that changes right there. And then you have the last one, which is clean, which kind of just basically takes it to a nice clean layout with not a lot of uh, information on the screen. Take it back to classic because that's how it comes from the factory. Now, cool thing is you can change what's on the left side of the screen as well. So right now we have it set to the compass. If you want to go to time and temp, you can do that. If you want to go to tire pressure, you can do that. Fuel economy, transmission fluid, or you can have nothing on the left side of the screen. So kind of depending on what you're using the truck for and how you're driving, you can select exactly what you want on that um, the left side of the vehicle. Then you can also change what's on the right side of the screen as well. So right now it's set to the drive mode. So it's telling us we're in normal drive mode and we're in two wheel drive. Now obviously if you switch it to sport mode or mountain mode, that's gonna change that icon right there. And it's also gonna change, you know, if you put it in auto, four high or four low. Now you can go back and put the compass over here if you want. You can put the time and temp, you can put the tire pressure, fuel economy or transmission fluid or have nothing on the screen as well. Going back down, you can also change the lower gauges as well. So there's three different settings on this, maximum, medium, or minimum. And all that changes is how much info is displayed right there. Right now it's on medium, so all it has is the temperature of the truck, the fuel range, and your actual fuel bar right here telling you how much fuel you have. Now if you go to maximum, that's gonna give you your temperature, it's gonna give you your fuel range with your bar, it's gonna give you your battery voltage, and it's gonna give you your oil pressure as well. And if you go to minimum, it's just gonna give you your um, odometer right there. It's gonna give you your fuel range and tell you what gear you're in as well. And then you can also change what you want on the info pages as well. You can change the units. So if you are going back and forth between like the United States and Canada, you can change this from miles per hour to kilometers per hour as well. You can also set a speed warning if you have a heavy foot and you want it to let you know whenever you're going over 75 or 80 miles an hour. Now it's not going to reduce your speed and not let you get over that speed limit. It's just going to ding and give you a warning letting you know you're going over the maximum speed that you want to be driving. The speed sign display, you can shut that on or off. So if you want to see the speed limit as you're driving down the road, you can turn that off. Then you can see the software info. That's basically all the um, data from GM or you can reset it to the default of the way it comes from the factory. And then you can just go back to the info pages. I like leaving this one on, so that way you know you can get to all the information that you need with the easy touch of the button. Also up here, you have your cruise control. This is showing that your cruise control is on. On the Elevation Premium Package, it does come standard with the adaptive cruise control. This is showing you that it has the adaptive cruise control. Now a really cool feature that they added to these trucks just a couple years ago is if you do not like the adaptive cruise control, you can turn it to regular cruise control. All you do is have to hit the cancel button for three seconds on the steering wheel, here in a second, regular cruise, cr cruise available. So this means that you're back to regular cruise control so you yourself will have to do this, the slowing down and speeding back up when a car gets in front of you. Now if you want to get it back to adaptive cruise control, just hold that. X or the cancel on the cruise control on the steering wheel again for another three seconds and it brings back regular cruise control for you. Also too it's not showing up right now because we're not driving is the forward collision alert. Once you are driving you will see a little car up here and we'll have three different colors on it. It'll either be green, uh, yellow, or red. Ask your salesperson a little bit more about that adaptive, uh, I mean about the forward collision alert on the vehicle. Just wanted to go over with you a little bit more on the, the infotainment system and the all digital gauge cluster. I hope you found this video um, informative. If you do have any other questions, feel free to give me a call or shoot me a text. My cell phone number is 303-859-5537. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe to our YouTube page. Once again, I'm Kyle at TransWest Buick GMC. Hope you have a great day.